Maybe you're not quite comfortable with the Glock disassembly process. Maybe you've never cleaned the gun before, or maybe you just can't read. Whatever your excuse is, stick around because we are going to give you the quick and dirty on cleaning your Glock. What is up guys, my name is John with PewPewTactical.com, your definitive source for gun reviews, gear guides, and all things that go bang. Although Glocks have a reputation of essentially being the AKs of the pistol world, they are so easy to disassemble and clean that you may as well make it a habit. We typically give our Glocks a field strip cleaning as shown in this video after every range day, but if you are lazy, you can get away with only cleaning after about every thousand rounds or so. In terms of what you'll actually need to clean your Glock, we're pretty big fans of the M Pro 7 cleaning kits, which includes their gun cleaner, oil, and copper remover. These kits also include lots of other essentials like the brushes and all the other small tools that you see here, which really just streamline the cleaning process. You can peep the description below for a link to all of the products we use to clean our Glocks as shown in this video. Without further ado, let's open this bad boy up. First things first, you wanna make sure that the gun is clear and unloaded. Remove your magazine if you had it in and set it aside and then confirm that your chamber is empty and clear. Once you've confirmed that, point the gun in a safe direction and pull the trigger. You're now ready to begin disassembly. Pull your slide back ever so slightly while pulling down on both of the tabs located on either side of the frame. Releasing the slide should disconnect it from the frame. From here, you can now separate your weapon into its four main field strip components. You've got your recoil spring and your guide rod, your barrel, and your slide and your frame. Now, obviously the barrel is going to be the primary component that accumulates gunk, so let's start there. Run your dry bore brush from the back of the barrel forward eight to 10 times, scraping off any accumulated grime living in your barrel. Next, take one of your gun cleaning patches and just get a little bit of cleaner on it. Run the patch through the barrel several times as well. Once complete, take another patch and just get a little bit more cleaner on it. We're going to use this to wipe down the exterior surface of the barrel itself. Make sure to wipe off the feed ramp as well. Once complete, use a microfiber towel to wipe any of the excess cleaner off of the barrel. Go ahead and run some dry patches through the barrel until they begin to come out clean. You can see there's not much residue on this patch anymore, so it's good to go. Visually inspect the inside of the barrel and make sure you've got everything. Once you've confirmed, you can go ahead and set it aside. Now we're ready to move on to the slide itself. Take your cleaning brush and wrap it in a cleaning patch, and then begin to scrub any areas that have built up fouling. You'll want to pay particular attention to the rails that interface with the frame as they can become quite dirty. As you might be able to tell, I have not cleaned my Glock for some time. It's actually not a bad idea to hit the rails with a Q-tip after the dry brush just to make sure you've got all the gunk out of there possible. As you can see, we're still picking up a bit more residue. Point the muzzle end of the slide towards your table and begin to scrub the breech face and the extractor of the slide. Make sure you aren't tilting the slide all over the place as you don't want any loose debris to fall further into the slide itself. Brush the recoil spring and guide rod directly and remove any debris you might see accumulated. Then you're gonna wipe it down with your rag. Now that the other primary components are clean, we are ready to move on to the frame. Take your brush and remove any grime you might find built up throughout the top surface of the frame. If you've got any buildup on the rails, take another gun cleaning patch and hit it with a tiny bit of cleaner and then just wipe down the top surfaces of the rails.
Take your microfiber towel and wipe away any of the excess cleaner that still remains on the frame. If you're in the habit of dropping your mags in the dirt when you reload, or if you're having feeding problems, it's time to clean your mags. Remove the base plate of your magazine using either the Glock disassembly tool or a punch. Once you've dislodged the base plate, make sure you keep your thumb over the entire assembly or the insert might rocket across the room. Give the inside of the mag body a scrubbing with your brush. You can also hit the spring, follower, and inside of the base plate if you'd like as well. This probably sounds obvious, but you want to make sure that you're attempting to put the follower back onto the correct end of the spring. Pro tip, it's the smaller end. Reinsert the spring back into the body of the magazine. Align the insert correctly back with the bottom of the magazine. Push the entire spring assembly in, and then slide your base plate back on the bottom. Time for lube. Now there's tons of good gun oil out there, but we stick with the M Pro 7 and it works just fine. And before somebody in the comments says, I just use mobile one motor oil. With that, give all of your parts a once over and make sure that everything's looking nice, bright and shiny and you are good to go. It's important to remember not to go overboard with lube as once exposed to dirt and grime, it can foul up your gun. Less is certainly more here. Run an oiled cleaning patch through the barrel several times. You're gonna pick up a tiny bit more residue in the process. Follow that up with a dry patch to remove any excess lubricant. Add a tiny bit of oil to the exterior of the barrel, and then using a cleaning patch, wipe the outside of the barrel down. Use your microfiber towel to grab up any excess lubricant. Add a bit of oil to the space between the lugs on the bottom of the barrel. And on the top portion of the barrel that interfaces with the slide when firing. Go ahead and wipe up the excess from both of those areas. The key is to penetrate the metal with the oil but not slather it on. Add oil to the top portion of the slide where it meets the rear of the barrel. Hit the front portion of the slide that the barrel interfaces with with a little bit of oil as well. Go ahead and spread it around a bit. And once complete, wipe up the excess. Add one drop of oil per each slide rail. Wipe up the excess. Add a drop of lubricant to the raised metal piece that interfaces with the trigger bar. Additionally, add a little bit of lube to the slide rails of the frame.
Once complete, you guessed it, grab that excess lube. Reinsert your barrel, recoil spring, and guide rod back into the slide. Reattach the slide to the frame. Point your gun in a safe direction and double check that your trigger is still functional. Additionally, cock the slide and check your trigger reset. You're good to go. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as we've got lots more how-tos and guides on the way. Once again, my name is John with Pew Pew Tactical and we will see you next time.